I'm 23 years old and have a hard time getting erections. Is there anything wrong with me? And what should I do to get rock hard for my girlfriend every time? All right, so you haven't really given me much to, information to go on. Um, you are 23, so I suspect you would be, I suspect you'd be relatively physically fit. However, given the modern world, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna, it's not a guarantee. So first of all, phys, you wanna be physically fit. You wanna make sure your cardiovascular health is on point. You wanna make sure that your testosterone levels are optimal, which means basically getting plenty of vitamin D, getting plenty of sunlight, or supplementing with vitamin D. Most people need but vitamin D supplementation. Most people are magnesium deficient, so you probably need to be supplemented with magnesium if your testosterone levels are low, um, and supplementing with or eating uh, healthy fats. So like pasture-raised eggs, grass-fed beef, wild salmon, this kind of stuff, will help your testosterone levels significantly. So that's, that's, that's testosterone levels out of the way. Uh, cardiovascular health, very, very important. If you are struggling cardiovascularly, obviously sprints are something I would highly recommend for increasing your cardiovascular health. Um, a few things you can supplement with or add to your diet, pomegranate juice or pomegranate extract, very, very good for cleaning out your arteries. Uh, let's keep going down the list of things that could possibly be. Um, if, if you're, again, if you're younger, I suspect this might be a performance anxiety thing. It's probably a nervous issue, a nerves thing. It's probably a mental thing uh, just because you're so young. Usually younger guys don't have any health problems that are causing motor issues, usually. So I would suspect if all those things I just mentioned are, are okay, then it's a mental thing, and it's a, so it's performance anxiety related. So you're gonna have to get oh, fuck your way out of a funk, basically, and give yourself permission to fail in regards to having a motor issue. So most of the time, if you're having a boner issue, you're going into sex thinking, oh man, I hope I have, I hope my, my dick doesn't go soft, I hope my dick doesn't go soft, and what happens, lo and behold, your dick goes soft. So, when I say give yourself permission to fail, I'm, I literally mean you go into that sexual interaction not giving a solitary fuck. Like, you do not care if you fail. You have to truly, truly believe that you don't give a fuck, and truly not give a fuck if you do not get an erection with this woman. You have to come, convince yourself of that and go into an interaction like that. Give yourself, what's what I say, give yourself permission to feel that way and think that way for this one interaction with this woman. And what you'll find is you'll rise to the occasion during that, during that scenario, because you've alleviated all the pressure, you've taken away all the power that this thought has from you. And now magically your dick starts working again. And you can then fuck your way out of that funk because it you, sounds like you've had this happen a couple of times if it's, a, if it's a repeat issue. So you need to be able to give your brain reference experiences of you having, like, see, getting in bed with a woman, having a boner, having sex. Um, another way you can do this, actually, by the way, another biohack you can add to this is edging. So you can edge yourself, like, basically give yourself blue balls in advance before you fuck a chick so that you're, like, raging. Like, red, like literally, if, if she touched your hand, if, you, if she held your hand get a fucking boner. That kind of like on edge, like ready to fuck like anything that moves kind of on edge. If you do that deliberately, like give yourself blue balls for a few days by like through like masturbation and not coming. And then you go and see this chick. Uh, even you'll probably finish early. You'll probably finish very quickly, but you'll at least get the boner. Right? And so you've then given your brain a reference experience of, oh, I don't have a problem getting an erection with this woman. You see what I'm saying? So there's a couple of different ways you can attack this, but it depends on, it really depends on where you're at, and we haven't really got that much uh, context from your email, so I hope this helps.